conduct this study because for years at Henry Ford Hospital we've been doing a large amount of musculoskeletal ultrasound and we've noticed this relationship between our diabetic population that their deltoid muscle appears more hyperechoic and anecdotally we've been uh, suggesting it in our reports so you know after seeing this phenomenon for several years now we want to be able to prove that the relationship truly exists and eliminate uh, a confounder of the obese population um, so that when we do include it in our reports we can do so, so more knowingly and officially as a way to uh, alert clinicians who might not otherwise have suspected this diagnosis or for patients as well or people who may have thought for years they were you know borderline or pre-diabetic maybe alerting them that they need to be further assessed um, because the appearance of the muscle is suggestive of that of actual type 2 diabetic diagnosis and uh, time for intervention.